Your packaging is boring. Hi there. My name is Julie and I get a lot of free stuff. Today I got this bottle of champagne. Merry Christmas to me. And this box. I'm pretty sure this box is full of something disgusting. Let's see. Oh, yes, it is. I got 80 ounces of disgusting bugs. Mmm. Let's have a taste, shall we? First, the smell test. <laughs> That's actually not that bad. No, grubs are not for human consumption. They're for my chickens. This whole thing about, could you, could you sit? Stop. Mommy. Did they pass the sniff test? Hmm? This whole thing about humans eventually eating bugs so that there's enough food for all of us. Nah, let's not do that. George, what do you think? No? Okay, we'll try it on the chickens. You think it's yummy? No? George, come here. Put on your coat. Come here. Come here, put on your coat. It's very cold outside, George. It is chilly today. Is your water frozen? Oh, gotta go break up some water. Okay, chicky birds, you wanna try some grubs? Ready? Come here, girls. Try some grubs. Come on. You wanna get some? Come on, girls. Hey, what about you? Sister, can't find the way out the door.
come get some. Yummy! This ain't far wood. This is near wood. <laughs> Check it out, you can feed it to reptiles and whatever those things are and fish and uh, uh, birds and chickens. Guess what, the birds are, okay. You know, as a professional doodle artist who often creates doodles related to chickens, I would say that your packaging is boring. It could be funny, it could have doodles, so 25% of toys are now sold to people that they call kiddults. Whoa. Uh, yeah, so there's this whole opportunity out there to appeal to people who like to have fun, who like fun colors, and you know, it's a whole branding thing. So I think you should consider having doodles on your product. I think it will get people to buy it again and again. You can take my advice if you want it. I'm no expert. I've just been published in a book, several magazines, and uh, created thousands of pieces of original art and jewelry. And you know, I have 600 YouTube videos, so I must be an expert in this subject, right? And oh my gosh, it's hot in this jacket. I got this at one of those resale shops and it's gorgeous, but it's too hot in here. We're trying to keep the pipes from freezing today. Want to see more chicken doodles? <laughs> yes, of course you do. Of course you do. See? You've proven my point for me. I really should have sorted these by chickens. Oh, here's one. I swear if they don't tip, I'm gonna egg their house. She's delivering Lucy Goosey golden eggs. Something's wrong with this. I don't know. Anyway, Esther's not having it today. Esther is bringing the happy mail. Oh, goodness, the dogs are cold. Gotta go get them. <laughs> These are outlined because I think I was gonna make them into stickers or something. This is Esther, she's in a lot of my chicken doodles. I also have a chicken called Eleanor, whose hair I have just, well hair, comb, have just turned blue. What are you doing? Eleanor's got a blue comb now because Eleanor's obviously an older lady with blue hair. So uh, Esther is not chicken, which, <laughs> see? Wouldn't these be great on packaging? I think it's brilliant. Lark's really excited to post this picture to Spacebook. These people need to move the deer crossing sign because obviously it is not safe to cross here. Thank you, Grubterra, for the chicken goodies. They obviously love them. And I will put a coupon code in the comments below the video so that y'all can get a discount on these at Amazon or wherever. I will figure it out. You'll see, I will link it underneath. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you think that they should change the packaging into doodle format. I think everything should be a little more fun. Is it just me? Thank you for the likes and the comments and I will see you next time.